morning and welcome back to the Mojave. I notice on YouTube that a lot of people don't seem to be able to transition beyond just hovering their quadcopters. You don't see many people actually doing translational flight. What, and what I mean by translational flight is horizontal movement of the quadcopter. Um, a quadcopter do, can do so much more than hover. Uh, you can actually do quite a bit of aerobatics even with your most basic quadcopter. But to do that, you need to learn the basics of translational flight, and that's what I'd like to discuss today. I'm going to break this uh, tutorial down into, into two parts. Uh, this intro here, where we're going to just do basic uh, translational flight, out and back movement. And part two, where we're going to incorporate turns into the out and back fly, flying. So, um, hof hopefully you'll learn something here today. Okay, I got the quadcopter bound. Now when you practice this, I recommend you find a nice open field to do as such. The more room that you have to practice this, the more easy will you learn. Now all we're going to do is use basic uh, pitch commands to send the quadcopter out, start with a, a short distance and bring it back. At the same time, you'll be adjusting the throttle to try to maintain the uh, elevation of the quadcopter. Um, Increase throttle to bring it, or to send it up higher, and decrease throttle to, to lower it. Now I got a wind, if you got a wind, try to fly directly into the wind. I got, the, got a wind coming from that direction there, so I'm going to readjust the quadcopter's direction and fly directly into that wind. It'll make it easier for you. Again, we're going out and back. And just... <laughs> accidentally hit the flip, but just keep repeatedly doing this out and back, adjusting the throttle as needed. Over and over and over again. What your goal here is to eventually be able to adjust that throttle during the out and back so that it becomes second nature like you're riding a bicycle. You might need to practice this many, many times before pro proceeding to uh, part two where we're uh, doing uh, flying uh, out and back nose in flight, which is somewhat more difficult. That's why I'm not doing it in this, this part of the instructional video. Again, out and back and just adjusting the throttle as needed, up or down, to try to maintain altitude over and over and over again. Just repeat this and it will become second nature to you. So that's all this video is. Repeated out and backs and you're, all you're trying to do is maintain the same altitude during that out and back by adjusting the throttle. If it starts to blow to the left like it's doing right now, I got the wind coming from that direction, just use your roll control to move it over to the new direction the wind's flying from, coming from, and adjust your um, rudder and to this new direction and redo the out and backs again. Always fly into the wind if you can. That's why you need a lot of f a big field to do this because the wind's going to shift while you're doing it and you don't want to worry about bumping into to things while you're doing it also. So that's the basic of the basics of translational flight. You start with just out and backs. Try to avoid uh, right or left on the uh, roll. Only use that to readjust your the direction of travel if the wind changes. Okay, we've done simple out and backs, which was in part one. But now let's introduce turning to the equation. Um, what we're going to do here, turning, turning can be a problem for uh, beginners, mainly because they can easily lose orientation of the quadcopter. You know, which direction is it pointed? Uh, which way do I turn the quadcopter to bring it back toward me? Um, the way we're going to uh, tackle that is we're going to proceed slowly. We're going to do something similar to what we did in part one, doing simple out and backs. We'll fly the quadcopter out at a comfortable distance from us, then bring it to hover, 
and then apply some turn to the quadcopter until it's pointed toward us and then we'll fly translationally we'll give it some forward pitch and fly it toward us and then once it's close to us again we'll go back into hover and apply some rudder to turn it away from us and then again fly out and just keep repeating that the cycle out and back flying back toward us nose in and flying out away from us nose out okay the quadcopter has been bound and it's been trimmed now you're going to need a nice big field to do this don't try this in your backyard uh, this part two here because it'll it can be somewhat difficult okay now fly it out as before to comfortable distance and then bring it to hover then apply some rudder till it's pointed toward you then give it forward pitch bring it back close again go to back to hover uh, apply your rudder to point it away from you and give it forward pitch slowly fly out bring it to hover apply rudder until it's pointed toward you then give it forward pitch slight forward pitch until it comes back toward you go back to hover go back apply rudder until it's pointed away from you apply forward pitch and just keep repeating this hover rudder point it toward you forward pitch hover turn forward pitch now if you get confused and you say oh my god which way is it pointed you're in, that's why you need that open field just let it drop bring it to the ground go up to it and start over again okay do not continue flying just use that big open field to your advantage there put it on the ground just cut off the throttle okay okay going out now I'm going to the winds coming from that direction now I got to adjust with some roll here to get back into the wind but now I'm turning toward me I can see which direction it's pointed it's pointed toward me forward pitch hover turning forward pitch to send it back out again hover turning pointing it toward me forward pitch to bring it back toward me hover turning forward pitch sending it back out again hover turning forward pitch hover turning forward pitch just keep repeating this over and over and over again until it becomes second nature okay I'm going to continue part two using my V636 Skylark again we, we give it forward pitch flying into the wind eventually, and then eventually we want to apply rudder to turn it until it's coming back to us and adjust in throttle as needed to adjust its altitude then turning it again to head, send it back out again again the biggest field or the bigger the field you got to practice this the easier and faster you'll learn it turning it to bring it back toward me turning it to send it out and I'm not applying any uh, well let's go to part three of this you can uh, make these turns much much faster and easier if you also apply some roll with the direction of the turn going out and applying left rudder and left roll and that's called a bank turn left rudder and left roll left rudder and left roll left rudder and left roll now we'll go right rudder and right roll right rudder and right roll forward pitch left rudder and left roll forward pitch to get some speed left rudder and left roll forward pitch to get some speed right rudder and right roll forward pitch to get speed right rudder and right roll forward pitch left rudder and left roll all the time adjusting the throttle to maintain altitude 
left rudder and left roll. Forward pitch, right rudder and right roll. Forward pitch, right rudder and right roll. Forward pitch, left rudder and left roll. Forward pitch, left rudder and left roll. Forward pitch, right rudder and right roll. Right rudder and right roll. Forward pitch, left rudder and left roll. Forward pitch, left rudder and left roll. Forward pitch, right rudder and right roll. Right rudder, right roll. Forward pitch, left rudder and left roll. Adjusting throttle, stay in the air. Forward pitch, left rudder, left roll. Forward pitch, right rudder, right roll. Forward pitch, right rudder, right roll. Forward pitch, left rudder, left roll. Forward pitch, right rudder, right roll. Left rudder, left roll, and I'm holding it with some forward pitch. Applying more forward pitch and then we go into funnels. <laughs> Just to break up the routine here. Okay, left rudder, left roll, bring it straight back toward me. Left rudder, left roll, forward pitch, right rudder, right roll, forward pitch, right rudder, right roll, forward pitch, left rudder, left roll, forward pitch, left rudder, left roll. Adjusting throttle to keep it in the air. That's why those out and backs are very important. Those simple out and backs where you learn how to adjust that throttle. Left rudder, left roll. Right rudder, right roll. Forward pitch. And my battery is kaput. Final note, I just wanted to make sure it was clear. Um, you know, I broke that down into the three parts, I guess. <laughs> I was planning on only doing two, but I, we went from part one, where we were doing just simple out and back flying. Um, the important thing to learn there is to maintain, or to automatically adjust the throttle so that you can maintain elevation of the quadcopter while you're doing uh, transitioning from forward to back flying. Um, part two, we introduced applying yaw to the quadcopter so that we were doing ovals front and back. The point of that um, exercise was to learn how to uh, adjust for the orientation of the quadcopter as it's flying away from you and toward you. Uh, the important point to remember while practicing is to use a very big field if you got one. Find yourself a, a soccer field or a football field and practice that on, on uh, giving yourself all the room that you can because you're going to need need that room to make uh, mistakes. You will be making mistakes while you're flying your quadcopter doing that. And then part three, I introduced applying roll while uh, applying yaw to the quadcopter. It was a purpose being you're learning bank turns. That was an intro to bank turns. Uh, that's the proper way to turn a quadcopter. Um, so hopefully you learned something here today. This quadcopter 101 sighting out.